friends um so today i just wanted to do a little video a kind of a mini tutorial um about doing lusters on pottery so lusters are kind of like gold or silver or other types of metals that you can add to glazed pottery so that um when you fire it again so it's fully glazed you fire it again up to six we're going to do 690 degrees c um, then it gives a lovely gold metallic finish. Um, I'm actually going to be using gold and platinum, so it gives like a silver. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do like a little video on how I do that, just in case you're interested in doing that. So I'll show you before and after, um, because I've just pulled out some of our Christmas decorations out of the kiln, and I'm very happy with how they look. Uh, we kind of rushed them through because we need to take all of our photos to do all the PR for Christmas. It's like summertime now so um, usually in pottery things don't work out the first time but these did yay! So I'll show you those and then also how I'm going to paint on the luster and then I'll finish up by showing you them after um, I fire them, them in the kiln. So I'll show you that now. So these are the cottages. These are my Kuroniki cottages. So these are all carved from like a block of clay. Um, if I can show you, yeah, they like start life like this. Then I hollow them out, add a chimney before I do the final carving. And then I did this decoration using, um, let me see actually, I probably have it one out. Yeah, you can just use slip, but um, these were quite cheap at our local, um, kind of at our pottery supplier and we just thought because we needed to rush those through instead of like testing out slips I just thought let's just try that to see if it works and it really worked well actually so um, maybe next year I'll actually make my own slip but for this year this, this worked out really well so I just have the natural colour and they come in different colours. <clears throat> Because I wanted them to be kind of like, the idea is that they're like little gingerbread houses. Um, so with like, that's meant to look like icing, so I think it looks really cute. And I really love this colourway, so I have opal on the top and it's they've got this like frosty blue. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the um, decoration's actually got its own little sparkles with some of the glazes. That in real life they kind of pick up like a little bit like glitter. Oh, nearly dropped it. Um, and then I just thought to have an old white one would be lovely. And this one turned out, this is a kind of like a, I don't usually have pinks, but I really wanted to have like a fun kind of coloured one. And that one really worked out actually. Um, and then I've already added luster to my favourite one, is this guy. <clears throat> So yeah, maybe I'll pick him up. This kind of really Christmassy green. I'll show you outside. Um, and then I did just the gold luster on some of the, so the baubles on the Christmas tree there and just some highlights to kind of tie in with the gold roof. And I'm also actually just doing some luster on my normal cottages. So here I've picked out, um, how do I show you? Sorry, the wheel that is sitting on the wheel. So here I've picked out some of the um, pressed shells. So here are like these little dots that I've just picked out of the luster. Um, so because I wanted to try it on my actual cottages as well, in case you didn't want like a Christmas themed one. Yeah, the thing with the luster because um, because it's actually like gold oh, and metals is actually is quite expensive so you don't want to be like painting your whole thing in luster so just like picking up some details you want to highlight looks really lovely um so i'm going to be using gold and then also platinum so i will show you how i do that so the one i'm using is this gold I'll leave the link down below but you can get them in like any country of course I got these in the UK so um, I'll show you I'll just leave the link to the one I have got but they should be available worldwide and I'm just using just a normal kind of paintbrush just one with a thin point and then I'm just I'll just get the cottage I'm going to do so I'll just do this guy Look how cute he is. 
Um, yeah, so instead of, I was actually thinking to do all of the decoration luster, but I think that might be a bit time consuming and um, I might go through luster too much. So I think I'll just like pick up the dots and the really like raised bits, I think will give like a little, kind of like a nice, um, so you still see the white. So it's meant to look like icing, like on a gingerbread house. So I thought it'd be nice to keep some of the white icing, but you know, um, pick up some of the um, more brighter or like the bigger decorated areas. <sighs> yeah, and also you need to, um, maybe I'll just talk. And also you just need to make sure that you do this in a well ventilated area. The best is actually probably outside. I'm really close to my doors with all the windows open. I would probably actually use a mask if I wasn't talking on this video. I think for the rest I probably will put a mask on just because it's quite toxic, the fumes. Um, so just bear that in mind, make sure that you, yeah, keep at least open the window. But the best thing would be to do it outside so kind of the fumes can dissipate easily. So yes, so we're gonna do this guy. Um, so the best thing to do is actually not overload your brush too much. So what I usually do is just dip it in and then get a bit in the lid. And I just kind of, so that I can get most of it actually off the brush, but I can keep it in the lid if I need to reapply. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, the best angle. Yeah, so I'm going to probably pick up some of these bobbles. <laughs> and you kind of want to just paint on a little bit like that. You don't want to make it too thick. And you have to bear in mind that it will um, take on the surface quality of what you're painting. So if you want a really like metallic shiny gold, the best thing is to make sure you paint it on a glossy glazed surface. If you paint it on matte, the gold will be matte. Um, and you can't do it on, I'm pretty sure you cannot do it on a surface that isn't glazed. So um, actually these bits that I'm painting on now, they haven't got like a very, very glossy surface compared to the actual surface of the clay, um, sorry, of the glaze. So um, this, when I did my test, the gold actually comes out a little bit um, kind of antiqued. So it's shiny in places, but in other places is a bit more, I guess the texture is rough, but not in a bad way. It kind of lends itself a bit more to our style where we like to have things a bit more rustic and aged. So I actually really liked the results. Um, but yeah, bearing that in mind, if you want a really glossy gold, you need to have a really glossy base of your glaze. So I'm just picking out areas to highlight. I'm, gonna do all that. I'm thinking also maybe to also paint in some areas on the more glazed surface so you can see the difference of what I mean with um, kind of the glossy glossiness. Because there's some areas here, I, what I might do is just do a few flicks just so you can see. So they should be more glossy than the areas um, that are raised. I hope it's close enough. What I do, I might zoom you in for this guy. I'm just going to pick up the bubbles on this guy. I kind of hope it will look like those kind of either like ball balls or you get those kind of metallic balls that you had to cakes and stuff I think will look cute kind of like it is decorate like it is a gingerbread house that's been decorated I might do these guys here I don't want to pick out like loads, I still want some of the white to come through, so here I think I might just do the bubbles, so most of it is white. I wanted to have like, you know, more white on some sides and then more gold on some sides, so there's a bit of variation. I think I might pick out this guy, he's a bit big. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
but I'll just do this so it's all gold here. Something like that. I hope you can see that. So basically now I'm going to leave these guys to properly air dry. You need them to be dry before you put them in the kiln. So I'll probably leave them just outside for a bit um, to air dry before I put them in the kiln. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that um, you should also clean your ceramics um, before. So the piece that you want to lustre, um, just make sure it's like really clean so that the surface you're painting on, there's nothing like that will get in the way, like dust or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you, I'll probably show you putting in the kiln. I'm not sure if I will remember to film that. Um, if I do, I'll include that. And then I'll definitely obviously show you the results after they've been glazed. I'm sorry, after they've been fired. Hey friends, so it's the day that I opened the kiln after doing the luster firing. Um, so I fire to 690 degrees C and a ramp of 100 degrees C every hour. And um, they look really cute. So I'll show you just some of my favorites. Um, maybe I'll pop you here. So I just like lined them all up. <clears throat> I really like this one actually. So this is a Christmassy kind of wax melter. I'll show you outside. So that's the kind of the sparkly um, silver luster. So it's platinum actually, but um, yeah, I just wanted it to come out silver. And it's, um, so the way that these work is that you pop candle inside here and then you can put um, any oils or they're meant to be for wax burners really. So whack little wax melts in here that are fragranced um, and then it kind of acts like a little burner and then when you're done you can just blow the candle out through the window, I'm um, sorry, through the door. <laughs> and then once your wax is solidified, you can then just pop the roof back over and it looks like a little cute house again. Um, so yeah, I just made a couple of Christmassy ones to see how they would look. I really love this one. So this is the gold luster. I'll show you outside, but easier to see. So yeah, that came out really super nice. Um, really like how the glaze works with the blue roof on this one. I'll show you here. So I think it looks nice where you just highlight a few areas. Um, and then I have one where I can show you, yeah, so this one is really lovely. I really like how just like cool and white it is, like very Christmassy. Um, so what I meant about the luster changing depending on the surface. So if you can see here on those wiggly lines, it's gone kind of a I don't know, like a foil kind of texture, like a textured surface basically, because what I painted it on wasn't completely like a glossy glaze. It had kind of this kind of um, matte um, textured surface, whereas when I put it on the actual glaze, which is really glossy, you can see it doesn't have that texture, so it becomes more of like, I guess like a classic luster, how it kind of probably should come out. Um, but I really like the textured surface, I think. I actually prefer it, I think it like sparkles more, whereas the um, really soft, um, sorry, the really smooth surface goes more like, it looks like a liquid metal, I guess. So you don't see as much sparkles only when it catches the light. Um, so I quite like having the option of both. I think it looks really nice. So yeah, so that's the um, silver. And I'll get another one that I really liked. This blue, this blue silvery one, super like, super nice. I'm so happy with them. Um, yeah, and I'll get a gold one. So I tried to do gold on the more warmer colours um, and then do silver on the cooler colours. So, yeah. And another gold one. Yeah, this is going to be like more of a gingerbread house. The glaze actually um, kind of obscured the <laughs> windows, but we have a Dremel tool so we can drill through that. Oh yeah, you can see the difference here. So that's on the textured surface and this is on the glossy surface. So it's like really different, but I quite like both. I think they look really, I'm very happy with them. And then, yeah, I really like this guy. So he's kind of like more of a moody, like a green with a gold roof. But yeah, super happy. 
I'm very happy with how they turned out. Oh yeah, and then this is the one, I don't know if I filmed it, but I basically added the luster to kind of the dots in the shells, um, where I kind of press the shells into the clay. And then here I just highlighted some of the shell texture. I think it looks really lovely. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm still quite new to the whole luster thing, but um, I thought this might help anyone that's kind of wanted to give it a go. It actually worked first time. I didn't have to like um, play around with the application or anything. So um, I found them quite easy to use and just adds like a little bit of a sparkle, especially for Christmas time. I think I would do like a limited edition for Christmas rather than doing it, like adding it to all of my pieces. But anyway, I um, hope you guys have a good day and until next time, bye.